Hello everyone! I think that many of you already heard of Elfbar. This disposable weight pants with all their shiny colors and beautiful manufactured housings are everywhere. Unfortunately, they are extremely bad for the environment. With every pen you throw away a fully working battery. But what if there's a way how you can recharge the whole pen? Don't get me wrong, I'm not smoking and don't want to encourage people to do it. But maybe it's possible to save a few batteries from the cycle bin. I will show you how you can reuse the pen more than once with only one opening and build yourself an electric cigarette for less than $10. As you can see, the pen is very simple. There are three sections. The first one, beneath the mouthpiece, is the vaping chamber. A piece of wire stuck inside some cotton soaked with liquid. If the wire heats up, the liquid evaporates. The second section is the battery, which takes almost half the size of the pen. The positive wire of the battery is connected to a very usual pressure sensor, which detects a pressure difference and acts like a switch. But I would like to turn my attention to the battery and why it's a shame to throw it away after a single use. The normal capacity is around 850 mA. Unfortunately you can only charge with half of the full capacity, which means 425 mA. The most interesting part is the discharge rate. You can discharge the battery 3 amps. This isn't much, but a very good value for such a small battery. If you compare it to your mobile phone battery, it's like you will throw away a perfectly working phone battery every 5 pence you smoke. If you assume that a mobile phone battery has 4250 mA. First, the easier thing is the refilling. You can do both, unscrew the mouthpiece and inject the liquid directly inside the cotton, or take a syringe and try to get it through the small hole inside the mouthpiece. Inject around 2 to 3 ml. Next, the battery update. You need only 4 things a new bottom cover, a small charging module, and some cables. I used a broken USB cable. The charger is based on the popular TP4056 chip. It provides overcharge and discharge protection, which should be enough for such a small battery. It also features USB Type C. First, I cut the wire and remove the isolation. You need two pieces. Next you need the fourth thing, which is the vape pen itself. To get inside you have to take off the bottom cover, which could be a very frustrating and long procedure on some vape pens. It works best for me to lift it up through the pressure sensor hole. After you manage to get it off you have to get out the sensor. The easiest way was the heated metal piece that cuts from the top through the plastic and presses the sensor out. Now you have to attach the prepared cables to the charger. Take your solder iron and carefully solder them in place. Next you have to attach them to the red for the positive side and the black for the negative side. On to the sensor. Unfortunately the sensor is very small and if your solar skills are not that good you should be careful and don't make a short circuit by connecting the red wire to the housing of the sensor. Don't worry, I am working on a version without soldering. After you succeed I recommend you a charging test. As you can see it works, but I recommend you use a less powerful charger to cut off the current to protect the battery. There are plenty of old phone chargers to charge around 500 milliamps. These are perfect. I'm sorry for the high current, it should only demonstrate that it works. Next I remove the supports and prepare the new bottom cap. Slide the charger inside and place the pressure sensor in place and press it cable down inside the gap. I close everything and made a test. And, and yeah, everything works as expected. I sealed the opening from the charger with a glue gun to prevent any airflow and get the same pressure as the original. Finished. 
I also make a dark transparent cap to see the charging status and the sensor LED. I hope that you like my work. I will link all the necessary parts in the description. Also the 3D files for different wave pens. As already announced, I'm working on a new solder free version. When I succeed and there's enough demand, I will upload it in the future. But until then, thanks for watching and goodbye.